Many Liverpool fans were looking to Mo Salah to be the Reds' talisman this season and to be the main one to help him, Gakpo, after the Euros and maybe even Nunes or Jota to lead the charge in Arne Slot's first season in charge. But they may have found someone else who can help Salah score the majority of the club's goals this season. I've said it from day one. In my opinion, selling Sadio Mane was the worst business ever. The boy scores big, big goals. Go through them. First goals, equalisers, winning goals in the last minutes. Big goals, Paul Merson, a former Arsenal star, said. So who was going to replace Mane? This question was the talk of the football world when Liverpool sold the Senegalese to Bayern Munich in 2022. Till this date, many still say the decision to let go of Mane was the beginning of the end for Klopp's era at Liverpool. In the words of Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank, Mane was a big factor and the catalyst of Liverpool's attack. They haven't replaced Mane. That's the sign that I don't understand. Today, with the emergence of a star, Liverpool's problem may have been solved. Rejoice now, Liverpool fans, because after two years, the Reds have finally found the perfect replacement for Sadio Mane. And he was right under your nose all along. None other than the Colombian Luis Diaz. Yes, you're right, Diaz is not a new Liverpool player. In fact, he played alongside Sadio Mane when they were both still at the club. Liverpool bought Luis Diaz in January 2022 while Mane was still in the team. Diaz even started in a few matches ahead of Mane that season. After Diaz joined Liverpool, Mane was shifted into the middle by Jurgen Klopp and the Colombian became the club's first choice left winger. From his first season, it was clear that Diaz was brought as an heir to Mane's throne. He looks like he's been there for years. Carlos Paniagua, who coached him in Colombia's under-20s, told Sky Sports after the recent series of wonderful displays by the Colombian at Liverpool. Diaz was clearly brought to succeed the Senegalese in the left-wing position. It was rumoured that one of the reasons Mane left was because he felt disrespected by the signing of his replacement while he was still in the team. Diaz joined Liverpool from Porto in January 2022 for a reported initial fee of £37 million, with the total potentially rising to £49 million with add-ons. The 25-year-old signed a five-and-a-half-year contract with Liverpool. After his signing, Jurgen Klopp, the former manager of Liverpool, heaped praise on him. Luis is a player we believe will make us better now and in the future. He's the player we really wanted, and they've, the owners, made it happen. So I'm very happy, Klopp claimed. He's a player who's hungry for success and knows you have to fight to get what you want. He's a fighter, no doubt. He's a skilled team player who always has the goal in mind, Klopp added. Jurgen Klopp was not only right about who Diaz was then, he also predicted Diaz's future perfectly. He said Diaz was a fighter. Yes, he is. Today, he's fought his way into the hearts of all Liverpool fans after outstanding displays. The future Klopp said then is now. And yes, Luis Diaz is finally having all the hard work since he joined result in excellent performances and, importantly, goals and assists. Diaz, admittedly, had a little slower of a start to his Liverpool career. He picked up from where he left in 2021 with Porto. In his first season, the second half of the 21-22 season, Diaz played 13 Premier League matches, starting in 11, scoring four goals and providing three assists. He also played very well in the Champions League, scoring an important goal in the semi-final against Villarreal before Liverpool unfortunately lost to the inevitable Real Madrid. If you want more content on Real Madrid, Click here in the top right for our video on them. And while you're over there, subscribe if you enjoy the channel. But why was Luis Diaz the chosen one to be Mane's heir? Mane's boot in Liverpool is a big one to fit in. He was one of the best players during Klopp's era. He played 269 games for the club while scoring 120 and assisting 42. He's widely regarded as one of Liverpool's greatest ever attackers. So why did Klopp think that Luis Diaz was the best fit to replace the Senegalese? Well, the reason isn't far-fetched. In Klopp's words, 
Luis Diaz is an exceptional footballer. He's an outstanding player and someone we've been tracking for a very long time. Diaz was so good that he was the subject of a transfer tussle between two of the big six teams in the Premier League, Liverpool and Tottenham. He reportedly preferred a move to Liverpool rather than Tottenham, who wanted to pay more for him. To who is Luis Diaz? Well, Luis Fernando Diaz is a Colombian international who plays as a winger for Liverpool. The former Porto man struggled in his early career days, and quite frankly, it's a miracle that he later got this big. Like most footballers, Diaz started football at a very young age, the age of six. But unlike other footballers, Diaz didn't play professionally until he was past 18. At 18, Diaz was not even attached to a professional club, mainly because of his impoverished background. Diaz is a native of La Guajira, one of Colombia's most underdeveloped regions, and a member of the Wayu, an indigenous community notorious for poverty and malnutrition. His rise to fame in football started in 2015, when he was one of those selected of the 3,000 plus young footballers who attended the open trial hosted by Atletico Junior, one of the three top level clubs based in the Colombian northern coast. At the trial, his talent was evident, and this led to his being assigned to a youth team. He was very thin, but he had abnormal levels of stamina and energy for a kid of his age. And he shone above all the others because of his dribbling ability, his feints, his speed and his character. He excelled in all of those areas. Fernel Diaz, who would later become one of Diaz's first coaches in Junior's youth teams, said. Diaz was later included in the Colombia 2015 Copa Americana de Pueblos squad. And after a wonderful displays in the tournament, he joined the Atletico Junior senior team in 2016. He played for the Atletico senior team until the summer of 2019 when he was signed by Porto. After beautiful displays at Porto, especially in the game against Liverpool in the Champions League in 2021, Liverpool went in for the Colombian and bought him in January 2022. As Octavo Rivera stated, Luis Diaz's story is one of strength and resilience. If you ask me what's behind his success, I would say his humility, his resilience, and his ability to overcome difficulties without complaining or asking for anything from anyone. Luis Diaz clearly has a lot in common with Mane. They don't just play similarly, they also have a similar history. But do you think Luis Diaz has what it takes to be as great as Mane was for Liverpool? A lot of it will rely on his teammates. Salah won't be at the club for many more years. Are Jota, Gakpo, Nunes capable of creating a formidable front three, such as Mane, Firmino and Salah? And if not, who do they have to bring in? Let us know what you think in the comments section. Luis Diaz was definitely the perfect replacement for Mane. The two players have a similar style of play. Diaz has the perfect balance of directness and speed and was able to generate the same kind of energy that Mane was generating on Liverpool's left. But there was just one issue. The goals weren't coming. How will an heir of the great Sadio Mane, who scored a double-digit number of goals in almost every season for Liverpool, struggle to score? Luis Diaz could only play 17 Premier League matches in his first full season, the 22-23 season, because of injuries. In the 17 he played, he scored just four goals and provided two assists. So statistically, he dropped compared to the previous season, when he played 13 Premier League matches and had seven goal contributions. In the 23-24 season, Diaz played almost all Premier League matches, 37 but could only manage to score eight goals while providing five assists. So in total, in 67 matches played, Diaz will certainly be smashing these numbers this season. Evidently, these numbers are ridiculous compared to what Sadio Mane was providing for the team. So as a result, many have questioned Diaz's ability to be the heir of Mane, which has of course led to a lot of criticism for the Colombian. Liverpool don't have Sadio Mane anymore, and Diaz does not have the same impact, former Premier League defender William Gallas said. I think Lucho is being eaten up by anxiety. He's playing very well, but when it comes to scoring, he's making the wrong decision. In that play, we saw he had to score first. 
Faustino Aspria said. The mistake his critics made was not realising that Louise was not brought as an immediate replacement for Mane. He was instead an investment for the future. Evidently, he played better in the 23-24 season than his previous two seasons. So the Colombian showed that he was growing. Now, after just match day five in the 24-25 season, Luis Diaz has successfully laid most of the doubts to rest. He's shown that he has grown and that the future is now. Currently, with five goals, Diaz is the second highest goal scorer in the Premier League, only the Norwegian goal machine, Erling Haaland, and now Cole Palmer, after his four goals against Brighton, have scored more goals than him. Subscribe to our channel for this video coming out this week. The Liverpool winger has scored five goals in five matches while providing one assist. That is six goal contributions in five games. The third highest goal contributions in the league behind Erling Haaland, Palmer, the Egyptian king Mohamed Salah and, surprisingly, Nicholas Jackson. Stay tuned for our video coming out on him. Luis Diaz is, without doubt, having his best season yet for Liverpool. It's also his best start to a season since beginning his professional career. Diaz seems to have found the missing piece in his game under Arna Slot. The Colombian's talent was never in doubt. Even though he only played a few matches in 2023, 442 Magazine still named him among the best players in the world. He was number 53 on their list. The only missing piece in his game was goal scoring, and this the Colombian seems to have hacked. Clearly, he is ready to conquer the world.